What's that got going on YouTube? It's Who Casper and we is back with another video, man. So in today's video, we're gonna be doing a little get ready with me, you feel me? I haven't did one of these before, but uh my followers told me to do one on the last video I posted on YouTube when I asked y'all what type of ideas y'all got for anything y'all wanna see me post. They said do a get ready with me, so you feel me? I'm finna show y'all what I do when I get ready in the morning and you feel me, we just gonna go run some errands and shit for the day, and I'ma just bring y'all along with me. Starting off in the day. Y'all should I already know. You gotta come hygiene first, so beginning of my day, I'm stepping in the bathroom. You feel me? We come in. Crest motherfucker. Get your toothbrush with some light soft bristles, whatever the case may be. And then we gonna brush them guys. You feel me? So hold up, y'all. They say. Here you gotta got um uh. Gotta got um whole front row, brush little brad down. My bad. But you gotta start your day brushing your teeth, feel me? Like, that's one of the most important parts of the day just for like the simple fact that like, you can't go outside with your brush smell like high ass plates trying to talk to the females, trying to handle business and just being in people's face in general, bro. Make sure your brush smell good, you feel me? So brush your teeth. All right, y'all, so usually after I finish goddamn brushing my teeth, you feel me? I go over my teeth with my little water pit, cause you feel me? When you got veneers, it's kind of hard to like get in between the little cracks and crevices of your teeth. Now mind y'all, I ain't gonna lie to y'all, I don't like brushing my teeth with the water from out of the sink, you feel me? I be using water out my fridge or purified water when I'm brushing my teeth, cause like, I ain't gonna lie to y'all, bro. I don't know if it's just me, but the water that's at the sink, it tastes like, I don't know, bro. Don't don't use the water from out the sink though, y'all. The water from out the sink is bullshit. I don't think you should be putting that shit in your mouth. Like, wash your hands is one thing, but I ain't gonna cap, bro. The water to come out the sink just tastes crazy, bro. Nah, so yeah, man. <laughs> we got the purified water, whatever the K may be. Boom, take that bit, throw it in the floss pit real quick. Floss pick, water pick, whatever you wanna call it. Now that we done brushing my teeth, you feel me? Second part before we leave the house, y'all folks gotta come moisturizer. I don't know about all the boys, I don't know what y'all folks be using, but Bath and Body Works ain't only for the girls, man. Y'all folks gonna get y'all some male scented lotion from Bath and Body Works, you feel me? Moisturize yourself and smell like good cologne at the same time, you feel me? You ain't gotta be ashy and shit. It's finna get cold outside, boys. Y'all folks do not be outside with ashy ankles and ash in between your fingertips and all that good shit. That shit look crazy, I ain't gonna lie. So yeah, man. After I got them moisturized, you feel me? Time to head into the room, pick out an outfit for the day. You feel me? I catch y'all folks in the closet. All right, y'all. So we is in my closet. Mind y'all, my closet a little bit messy right now. Some of the shoes is missing off the racks because I got a lot of shit on the floor. Y'all folks ignore that. Uh, I just be rushing and shit, bro. When you be rushing, you don't really be having time to clean up behind yourself. So I always take like one day out the week to clean up. You feel me? Mondays be my cleaning days or Sunday, you feel me? I already cleaned up, so I really can't show y'all cleaning up and shit, but like, you feel me? Clean my couch off because it's white, be having to use bleach and all that good shit, you feel me? Be having to clean my white countertops off because these motherfuckers get dirty and then, you feel me? Clean the kitchen, you feel me? Mop my floors and sweep and all that good stuff. But yeah, man. Long story short, closet is dirty. I just ain't got a chance to clean it. I guess I clean it when I come home today. I hate coming home to a dirty crib, so I usually try to clean before I leave, but I got too much going on today. But let's figure out this outfit, y'all. Now, mind y'all, I'm a Louis V. Don. That's why I got so many Louis V's, but I, I've been really, like, abusing my Dior's. I think I might wear Dior's today. We're gonna see what the hell happens, but y'all folks, just stay tuned. We finna put this outfit together real quick, and I'm gonna come back to y'all in a flash. Like I told y'all boys before, you do not have to dress to impress every time you go outside, you feel me? You can just wear a little simple shit, bro. If you ain't going out to go see no females, or you don't plan on going out nowhere crazy, bro, like, I'm finna go run errands. It ain't no reason for me to be a mirror down, designer down to go run some errands. And if I want to look a little bit, you feel me, like, I want to look a little bit more, like, I don't know. If you want to add a little bit more to your fit, just wear a regular fit with some jewelry. But you ain't got to do too much, though, you feel me? So, for today's fit, y'all, we got a brand new polo tee. We finna bust out the pack, you feel me? An all-white slim fit polo tee shirt. We got uh, Nike Tech sweatpants, and we got some white Air Force Ones, man. Clean and simple, you feel me? Hey, so, so I know I told y'all I was going to clean the closet when I got home, but I got OCD if y'all don't know this. I just went ahead and cleaned it, you feel me? Closet clean, everything organized, everything back on the shelves, you feel me? 
to anybody that didn't watch my closet tour man y'all folks go watch my closet tour if y'all want like a more in-depth view on all of the stuff that's in my closet but yeah man here's just a little quick overview for anybody that's new to the channel we got the dior section we got my gucci section with my miscellaneous fur hats and buckets and shit like that you feel me all the clothes y'all send me be on this bottom shelf down here or either in here you feel me i got different hats and stuff uh people sent me you feel me just a whole bunch of different stuff from y'all clothing brands this is my jeans section right here so all the everything in the front is like denim tears everything in the back is the mirror jeans and etc here in preston all my louis v's and stuff my jackets and stuff that y'all be sending me and then you know i gotta keep a whole bunch of air force ones in here i got like boxes of air force ones stuffed in the corner like five ten of them and hella jordans and shit hey y'all so i actually ended up switching it up a little bit i took the nike tech pants off just because they was like i don't know bro it, I didn't really like the outfit or how it came together, even though it was just supposed to be a car outfit, you feel me? So I switched to my abstract sweatpants. If y'all want to go get some sweatpants just like this, go look up abstract on Instagram. And it should come up. But yeah, man, shout out to abstract for these sweatpants. I like them because you could zip them up and they give like a, a slim fit or you could got them unzip them and they get like a flare fit, you feel me? I'm going more like a flare fit today, so we're leaving them unzipped. We was about to put my jewelry on, you feel me? Accessories always bring the outfit together, so. Gotta put on my watch, and then hold up, y'all. Gotta go get my, uh, gotta go get my chain real quick. All right, y'all, so. Watch on, you feel me? Throw my Cuban on. And yeah, man, calm outfit. I mean, it ain't supposed to be fancy. I'm not supposed to look like I'm dripping. I'm supposed to just look like I'm halfway care about myself. Anyways, y'all, though. We was about to head out, man. Before I head out, you know, y'all always got to make sure y'all put y'all little fragrances on and shit like that, bro. Like, before y'all leave the house, bro, do not forget to put deodorant on. Do not forget to put some fragrances on and stuff like that. Y'all boys be outside smelling like straight must and bullshit. You cannot be going around people like that. Oh, God. So, I'm telling you, first impression is your best impression. So, if you go around a motherfucking stank and they going to think you stank, Forever, even even if you just got caught down bad at one time, you feel me? So I don't like going around about staying none, you feel me? Can nobody say nothing about me? Oh yeah, tell my boys to be like needing new fragrances. Y'all folks go get y'all some for car Latifa or Latifa, however you say this. Y'all folks better screenshot that way y'all got a chance, cause I don't be showing y'all fragrances for real. But we is about to head out, man. I usually will make my bed before I leave, but I ain't really got time today, you feel me? I already did too much by cleaning the closet. But we just finna head out and go get in the ZL1, you feel me? Finna go uh, stop by my P.O. box and stuff like that to go see if y'all sent me any packages. Uh, finna go to my cousin's house so I could go edit my videos and stuff like that. But y'all folks just stay tuned. I see y'all folks downstairs. Make sure y'all drinking water and staying hydrated throughout the day. That shit important. But we just finna head out. I, I will see y'all folks downstairs. Like I been told y'all, I catch y'all in the car. We is at my first destination, man. My cousin's house. I was gonna go to my P.O. box, but they don't close till 8. And I feel like editing and uploading the video on YouTube is more important. So we about to go upstairs, you feel me? We gonna use Final Cut Pro and uh, you feel me? Just finish editing my video and hurry up and post it to YouTube so I could drop today. And this video will probably be dropping tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to be more consistent. I'm trying to get y'all more content. I told y'all it's fourth quarter, so we locking in, man. Road to 100K subscribers. Y'all folks sub if y'all ain't already subbed. And drop a comment if y'all ain't dropped a comment, man. That shit go a long way. But yeah, man, we just waiting on my cousin to come outside right now. After I finish uh, uploading my video and posting it and stuff, I'm probably going to go to... Uh, Probably go give me something to eat, and then after I get something to eat, I'll go check my P.O. box, probably stop by the bank, make a deposit and stuff like that. We just gonna see where the day takes us, but y'all folks, stay tuned, man. Y'all ain't never seen no baby wake up cute, bro. Lil' bro. I got it. Goo -goo -ga -ga. Uh, I know a lot of y'all probably like, why do you come to your cousin's house to edit? It's because I don't have my PC set up yet, and I don't have a MacBook, and this is the only person that I can trust to edit my videos and put my green screens in there and all of that shit, and... He's the only person I know with Photoshop, Adobe, and Final Cut Pro. So, yeah, man, this is where I come to edit. Y'all, I'm going to be dropping a video every two days or something like that, man. So, y'all folks just expect more consistent content and more... Yeah. Damn. How the fuck you just smashed the brakes like that, bitch? Anyway, bruh. We're back in the motherfucking car, y'all. I was gonna say, 
I really just finna got to dry this bitch around just see how the fuck it feel for real. If y'all heard what Unc said when we was in Mavis, he put slicks on the car. So this bitch really gripping the ground. Like my last tires I had, I think they were performance tires, but I don't think they were necessarily slick. So like I can still kind of break traction smacking the gas. Like I ain't gonna lie to y'all. Like I've been trying to break traction just from hitting the gas in this bitch. This bitch will not break traction. This motherfucker is like just shooting straight forward type shit. I mean, of course, if I cut traction control off, I can still slide this bitch and all that good shit. Bro, it's this nigga. Fuck is wrong with you, bitch? And see, bro, that's how I know it don't be me, bro. Cause on God, that bitch smashed the brakes on me, and then this bitch stopped at a green light. Like, fuck ho. Just got down. Just dragging this bitch right now. This bitch in regular mode, though, it ain't in sport or nothing. This is like tour mode. Y'all still hear this motherfucker, though. Why is there so many rocks in downtown, bro? You think a nigga in the country the way all these fucking rocks be on the road? This shit annoying. But yeah, y'all. Nigga just really just got down shit. I'm getting my money's worth. Nigga say I just spent 40 something on it. Oh, we finna got down. We finna drag ass in this hoe. Believe it. Finna drag. Man, what the fuck, bro? Niggas in Atlanta is driving weird today, bro. I ain't fucking with this shit. Everybody driving like they ain't got no damn sense. Damn, that was a metal plate. I mean, them big ass tires this nigga put on this bitch, I ain't gonna lie, this motherfucker been eating the hell out of little goddamn bumps and shit. Cause when I used to hit shit in this car, you could physically hear that shit on camera. Like, the shit would sound crazy. I'm finna put this bitch in sport, Jack. I wanna hear my supercharger. Bro, what are you doing? Move! Bro, these niggas are annoying, bro. I hate Atlanta drivers for real. Like, move, nigga. You know what I'm trying to do. tires nigga this motherfucker is gripping i couldn't do no shit like that before this motherfucker sound good as hell too oh, you guys so i ain't gonna lie yeah our folks ain't never had to put a hundred dollars on a little ass car we went through that time it's good? Okay, cool. Thank you. No problem. I ain't gonna lie though. She funny. She talking about she ain't never about, seen nobody put a hundred dollars on the tank before. Say, so I ain't gonna cap. I really ain't wanna put a hundred on the tank. Motherfucker just be eating gas like a bitch. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I might as well include gas as a part of my daily routine because I ain't gonna lie to y'all. This car be needing to be filled up every goddamn 12 to 24 hours. But it, it's crazy though, cause I drive my car fast as hell and I be using the hell out of my supercharger, which is why my gas be going out quick. But what I can say is, if you're not punching this bitch and you drive this bitch like a regular car, it is actually pretty decent on fuel. So yeah, man, if y'all folks get a ZL1 and y'all get a car with a supercharger and y'all trying to save gas, don't drive that bitch like a jackass. It's only gonna burn the gas quick if you drive it fast. But like I said, bro, when I drive this bitch like it's a V6, it be cool. It be like I got eco mode or something. As soon as a nigga get to hitting the gas, that bitch just got down pouring gas out of motherfucker. Say, I ain't gonna lie to y'all, but we at, we at 44, that bitch still going, shawty. We gonna, we gonna see if this bitch eat the whole hundred up. I don't know if it's gonna eat the whole hundred, but it might though. Say, I don't know if it's gonna eat the whole hundred, but it might though. It's taking a good little second to tell you how that, man. Say, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I forgot to show y'all how much gas it ate up. But it was because I got carried away. Yeah, man. 
out of a hundred dollars, bro. Out of a hundred dollars. Hold on, let me show you folks something. Out of a hundred dollars, this motherfucker just used eighty-six dollars. And guess how much fuel I got, y'all? Nigga, do y'all see what the fuck that shit say? Nigga, that shit say. That shit say 184 miles. So y'all folks, <laughs> I keep telling y'all folks, y'all be wanting these fast ass cars, bro, but I'm trying to tell y'all, bro. $80. Almost $100. $86. Only gets you 184 miles in this fucking car. I don't think y'all realize, like, do y'all realize what the fuck? Bro, that's worse than the track hawk, nigga. That worse than the Hellcat. But anyways, y'all, I'm finna go to uh, Chick-fil-A. I'll pick the camera back up when I get there. Big filet, you feel me? Finna go out there and get some, I ain't even gonna say good eats. I'm just gonna say that, like, Chick-fil-A is the best fast food you could get. Like, I don't think you get no better than Chick-fil-A when it comes to the fast food shit. Chick-fil-A still considered fast food to you, right, yeah, twin? Yeah, Okay, cool. No fucking... It's not a restaurant. Okay, then. You can sit down in this bitch. I what, don't know why you would. What the hell I was going to say, though, twin? Yeah. Would you say it's the best fast food, though? If Raisin Cane's had more chains out here, then that was... Nah, I ain't going to count. Raisin Cane's is fire, but yeah, that's that's some L.A. shit. That's some... Yeah. That's, that's but, some not in Atlanta shit. East Coast, the, yeah. But I ain't gonna lie though. Chick-fil-A. Yeah, Chick-fil-A is the best shit in Atlanta when it comes to fast food. But if you go anywhere else though, you feel me? Like, you got Raisin Cane's and all that good shit. I give Zaxby a second. I don't really vibe with Popeyes and KFC. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't ate Popeyes and KFC like on some legitimate shit in a long little second. What I gonna say though, y'all? Yeah, I'ma wait till I get my meal back, man. I got me a, uh, I got me a what? What the hell I get? I got a cookies and cream milkshake, a lemonade, a eight count nugget with a motherfucking mac and cheese. Cause I be, I be substituting the fry for the mac. You feel me? But uh, yeah, man. Hold up, y'all folks. I'ma got down get back to y'all folks when my meal get here. Money, bro. Boulevard, your favorite chick he said we need all the money, now. man. Don't nobody else say that. We're gonna be your favorite chick for life. Okay, cool. <laughs> I, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. They do got the best workers, though. They got the best workers, and then not only do they got like the best workers and the best hospitality and all that shit, I can genuinely say every time I come in here, LeBrad be in a good ass mood. You get out there bit quick as hell. And yeah, man, I ain't gonna lie. This is the chick fil I go to like every fucking day. He funny as hell, though. That boy said, we gonna be your favorite chick fil a We the best one. We want all the money. We want all your money. For sure get right on, twin. For sure get right on. We want all your money, it's crazy. What y'all gonna say? I'm finna pad the camera off the lead. Y'all gonna get a little third person perspective. But yeah, man, I ain't gonna count to y'all though. Like, on some real shit though. Nigga, I can't wait till the day like, niggas don't gotta buy fast food and eat that shit every day. Like, niggas that have options and shit like that. Shout out on the bike with trying to get her ass spank. I ain't gonna lie. And she got the DoorDash bag. See, bro, that be that shit I be talking about, bro. If you live in Atlanta and you be wondering why your DoorDash taking long as fuck sometimes, it might be because a motherfucker is on a bike carrying your shit. For real, for real. But yeah, y'all, I was gonna say, like, on some real spiel, though, like, just, like, I can't wait till a nigga ain't gotta eat fast food. Like, mind you, I ain't gotta eat that shit every day. I got money, but, like, you know you rich when, like, it's lamb chop and steak dinners every night type shit. You feel me? Them tight days coming soon though, I ain't gonna lie, like every year of my life elevate just a little bit more. And what I can say is, you feel me, like as long as you're doing the right shit, investing into yourself, and you just got down, you feel me, you you doing for other people, I feel like everything come full circle. I always look out for my folks on God. My mom's straight, my little sister be straight. Anybody need something from me, I don't ever really be too stingy, you feel me, unless I genuinely just like don't got it or it don't make sense. But yeah, y'all, I ain't finna blabber off and shit. I'm finna go home, eat my motherfucking Chick fil A, you feel me, I got. We, we, we tuning back out. I just want to play with my car real quick. Say, I don't know if y'all boys could tell or not, but this is the same vlog, just a different day. You feel me? Uh, I really forgot to pick up the camera after I got done eating my Chick-fil-A. I mean, let's be fucking real. Who the fuck finna remember to pick up the camera after they eat Chick-fil-A? But yeah, you feel me? My Chick-fil-A was blessing. It's the next day though, y'all. You feel me? I'm finna go out and finish running my errands that I ain't finished running yesterday. So you feel me? Probably gonna go to my P.O. box and shit because I still ain't did that shit. Uh... 
And we just gonna take care of everything I gotta take care of for the day, but we finna head out, so I get to y'all folks when we downstairs at the car. I know a lot of y'all might not give a fuck about this, but the cold start be the part of my day, like shit. If I wasn't ready to wake up or ready to leave the house before, I damn sure be ready to leave the house after. Like, soon as you hear this shit, I ain't gonna count. This shit start your whole day up. But now, uh, yeah, man, we finna got them head out. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I don't know about everybody else, but when I first wake up on curve, it's early morning, late in the afternoon. It's something about just waking up. My body be groggy and shit. So, like, I ain't no coffee drinking ass motherfucker, but you feel me? I do participate in the fruit and veggies. You feel me? So, I think I'll give me a smoothie. Fuck you talking about. Y'all need to call me a thought. Y'all call me whatever y'all want to call me, man. That, that smoothie? That smoothie? I'm gonna fuck get your energy right. But yeah, man, I'm gonna catch y'all folks when we at Planet Smoothie or whatever smoothie place I end up going to. But I see y'all folks when we get there. I ain't gonna lie, I really just wanted to show y'all this because I feel like everybody be talking about Atlanta and be talking about the city, but don't be showing y'all the city for real. Like, this is the city of Atlanta, man. Like, the east side, the west side, south side, and all that shit. Like, that shit cool and all, bro, but like, this is the city. Like, when folks say, oh, they got money, this is where they stay at, this is where they live at. When folks say, oh, I got money, I stay in the city, this is what they talking about, y'all. This is this is where the money at. This is where the folks with money reside, you feel me? So if y'all folks ever hear a motherfucker say they from Atlanta or they stay in Atlanta and they not talking about this shit right here, they lying, okay? folks a little quick asmr i'm gonna put y'all down because a lot of people don't be teaching y'all about these cars and shit man so when it comes to zl ones i don't really know about hellcats and shit but the best gear to do a launch in inside of a zl one you feel me or do like a roll in is fourth gear you feel me if your ass in fourth gear this bitch gonna tuck and roll for real you feel me but get your ass out my way i always be that one nigga holding up the process hold up y'all Drop this bitch down the fourth. Hold up. Y'all see it on some at? That. That fourth gear hit different. Hold on, we gonna downshift back to fourth real quick. I'm gonna show y'all some once I get around the bridge. Hold up, y'all. Any motherfucking way though. Hold on, we gonna downshift the fourth one more time. using the paddle shield to really better than the brakes because your engine gonna slow down the car for the brakes dude no cap no kids but yeah man i catch up with y'all folks in a little bit i ain't gonna lie to y'all all just aside i do not know where unky on but i need whatever unky on that nigga and that bit not deep for that that boy that's that bitch dozing that boy off the zanitron I'm talking about mouth, mouth opening there thing. That boy uncle and that bitch all the bars. That boy cannot keep his head up for shit. So yeah, I ain't gonna tell y'all. That boy uncle ass is fried. Yo ass fried, unky. Unky ass need to go home. Hey y'all, unky not playing with a nigga ass. Boy, that nigga ass said, didn't the D young nigga ain't finna keep recording me. He think he slick. Is that I went and got some shades now, bitch. Them shades ain't finna say you. I still record your ass. Any goddamn way, let me leave granddad alone. I don't know who grandpa that is, but if that's y'all granddad, I don't mean no disrespect. His ass need to stop falling asleep on Boulevard in the goddamn parking lot, though. I ain't gonna lie to you, huh? This ain't a safe place to be falling asleep at. But yeah, y'all. I just went to Smoothie King, you feel me? I got my motherfucking Smoothie. That shit crazy. When I was in Smoothie King, I should have recorded it. LeBrun said he be watching my videos and shit, and then he be following me on social media. It be cool when I get to see people that like watch my vlogs or watch my content. 
in real life because like these folks like they really be showing love for real you feel me like i fuck with y'all folks because for one if y'all know me like i ain't never been no bougie nigga like if y'all say something in person i'm gonna say something back you feel me i take pictures with people i got down shake hands i mean for the most part bro i'm i'm a nor fuck, fuck for the most part i'm a normal ass nigga just like everybody else you feel me so when y'all be seeing me in person i don't act no type of way i be following people back on the ground and all type shit man you feel me i'm way cooler than you your average influencer your average influencer be acting like they fucking president obama or some shit like they can't talk to a nigga but all right yeah, so we is back into the vlog man i told y'all i'm gonna pick the camera back up a little bit later uh yeah man it's starting to get cold outside so if y'all ass wondering why my lips are greasy and shit you feel me i'm a light skinned nigga my shit get chopped to the gods and if y'all wondering why i got a ski mask on the hoodie on it's cold outside y'all but uh i'm at the car wash right now getting my car wash because my shit was like od fucking dirty it down there like a nigga threw mud in my car but yeah man these folk got down you feel me we got the uh the migos out here got down getting nigga shit right they finna spit shine my goddamn tires you feel me spray all the mud off of this shit and some more shit and i'll show y'all with the car light when that bitch clean got that boy zay on the goddamn phone man y'all folks ain't never seen my partner man i only got a couple get money partners out this bitch then one of them i don't claim i don't claim the other nigga these other niggas they be talking about they know look ass when they fuck with me no the fuck they don't they know of me this one of the only niggas that can really say they know me for real. But yeah, y'all. We got done waiting for these folks to finish watching my car and shit. I'm probably finna uh, go to a little video shoot or something. We gonna see where the hell the day takes us. But with that being said, I will catch y'all folks when my car done getting clean. I like to y'all, they like one of the best car washes to come to in Buckhead, man. These niggas got done spray inside your doors. These boys got done, you feel me? They, they get nitty gritty with this shit. I'm talking about they clean your rims and everything while you inside them motherfuckers, you feel me? I ain't gonna let them clean the inside because the inside of my car really don't be dirty, you feel me? I ain't that dirty of a nigga, you feel me? Y'all see inside of my car clean, nigga. I'm talking about even the carpets, nigga. Y'all name another nigga who inside their car be clean like this. I'll wait. Okay. Any goddamn ways, though, y'all, uh, I'm pick back up the camera when these folks is cleaning the rest of the car right now. They just got them playing around my rims and fingering my tire holes and shit, paws. But yeah, man, I'll catch up with y'all folks in a second. This still got a white little bit down to clean the outside. Way down low. That shit was dirty as fuck at the beginning of the shit. This thing I'm fucking with. All right, y'all. So I'm at Little Leak House real quick. I had to come and edit a video and shit like that. But I'm finna head out, go get dressed, and I'm probably finna go eat and then go to a car meetup, man. So y'all for just stay tuned. I catch y'all for when we get there. Hey, Q, your man's on a date. Your man's on a date. You talking about your man's on a date? gonna copyright me but y'all see it though fuck you come out goodbye hey y'all we got the world outside we got the world outside curly done pulled up you feel me marlon pulled up you feel me we got we got no little sweetie Hi. we got no little sweetie weeks in the past hey, so we have it we have it no love more right. pulling up in a big in a big chicken wing big chicken wing so we got we um, got the track outside we got another lamb outside it's just like Hellcat said, uh, like, like, track. <laughs> Puss ass nigga. Fuck nigga. Egg a little bit. Yeah, yeah, I'm just I gotta put them on, bro. Hmm. Nerves gummy. Like, nah, hey, y'all, bro, they gotta get the other package. Hey, yo, how you doing? I'm a regular one. Talking about a blue pack? Is that a blue pack? The blue pack nah. is me. Oh. Hey, blue pack ass. Think so? No, so. Y'all yeah, folks think the blue pack or uh, nerve gummy one for the y'all think on ass? Yes. Nah, bro. The boot patch, straight, bro. Ain't true. Hey, bro. What? They, wanna, they said they wanted another one. Put that camera down, down, bro. For real. Mm. Punch his ass in his shit. Put my own today, bro. They said they want another one. They ain't gonna let it. Another one. Y'all know I got y'all, man. Yeah, look, Cash. You got a little hickey. Damn. 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 I got a hickey. Hell yeah, yeah. No. Where? Now he was. That's an allergic reaction. He was itching. It probably is an allergic reaction. Yeah, that. Yeah, right now. I don't want to say I ain't no bitch sucking on my neck. I ain't no bitch sucking on my neck. Hey yo. 
Give me a couple months, man. It is. Oh, and it's the green too. Oh, I ain't gonna count. This is SBJ is boring. <laughs>
Beats is hard. I ain't gonna lie. If y'all boys can't tell, man, we is in the whip and it is nighttime, man, which means we left the car meet. I hope y'all folks enjoyed the car meet just as much as I did. Like going to see luxury and just exotic cars in general always motivate me because if you could see it, you could touch it, you could own it. You feel me? So I always go to these events and I just be highly motivated and it just be pushing me to go harder because you just get a chance to really see like what people, what people can achieve and it'd be crazy because at these car meets like majority of these people be black and african-american so like it really motivate me because it lets you know that like you ain't gotta be a corporate job working motherfucker to goddamn own a supercar or have any of these fast cars you feel me let let people like me and all the upcoming youtubers be like motivation because it show you age don't mean nothing bro but i say all that to say just like strive for bigger things bro never set your goals low always set your goals high and realize anything that you want you could get it as long as you putting in the time to work and the dedication so i be going to these car meetings just to see cars that i want touch cars that i want and talk to the owners of these cars just to like really motivate me and put me in that mind space to let me know like anything is possible and i want y'all to know anything is possible when y'all watching these videos and y'all watching my vlogs i want y'all to understand i don't vlog my lifestyle to shit on people or make people feel like they less than me i do this to let y'all know that anything is possible because if y'all watch my very first videos or watch me from the start in my vlogging experience and just like me growing on this channel in general I had none of what I had right now. Six months ago to a year ago, I didn't have a car I had, the crib I have, none of that. So I say all that to say, like, y'all are watching me grow. And if y'all are watching me grow, y'all can learn from me and y'all can grow yourselves. You feel me? Just set y'all goals high and realize that anything y'all want is possible. You feel me? But I ain't gonna hold y'all. We ain't gonna do no long lecture, man. I just want y'all folks to reach for the stars, bro, and just, like, set y'all goals high, bro. Don't, don't limit yourself and don't think anything is too big or too far. You feel me? If you can think it, you could do it but i hope y'all folks enjoyed the video man i hope y'all enjoyed the car show i hope this gave y'all some motivation and inspiration we got more day in the life of casper coming soon and we're gonna keep this series going and we just gonna keep posting and just keep being consistent man i hope y'all been enjoying me dropping more often and stuff i'm gonna keep dropping often we not finna go back to the posting consistent then posting inconsistent i'm locked in right now it's fourth quarter man shout out to the whole ghost family we is on the road to 100k subs we just hit 21 thousand subs the other day and now we at like 21,500 by the time I drop this video we'll probably be at like 22,000 subs man but shout out to all of my YouTube supporters shout out to the whole ghost family and shout out to everybody that just watches my content and support me in general man we only gonna get bigger we only going up it's a road to 100k in this fourth quarter like I've been said we locked in like we never been all I'm gonna say is man y'all folks just stay tuned subscribe if y'all ain't already subscribed drop a comment on the video man and if y'all folks are part of the ghost family feel me drop some emojis or something in the goddamn comment so i know who y'all is but all i'm gonna say is man like comment share and subscribe and i'll see y'all folks in the next video